I am not telling any of you guys to do this. This is 100% your decision. I am not a financial advisor. I am just a guy on the internet that is hustling and that is sharing what works for me. I know a lot of you guys are hungry to get into this business and don't have the cash up front, but this is a way you can do it and basically get a year free pass. What's up you guys, Andre here with Jack of All Trades. Quite a bit of you guys are starting to ask me, how am I buying all the stuff without having the cash? And then how am I getting the cash to pay for it and stuff like that? Well, today I'm gonna to make a video on how you can use the bank's money as 0% APR. And it doesn't matter what you buy. It can be an enclosed trailer, flatbed trailer, dump trailers, roll-offs, whatever you want. But I'm gonna show you guys how you can buy a 0% APR and actually get paid to borrow the bank's money. The simple answer is credit cards, guys. There are multiple credit card companies, Chase, Wells Fargo, Amex, that offer 0% APR for 12 months, 15 months, even 21 months. And just, you wanna read the fine print. What are you getting for using their card? You wanna look for those with the highest amount of cash back and 0% annual fee and the longest APR. Whichever one suits you better, go for that one. Because that's what I did. I didn't do it right away, but I did start doing that um, I want to say last year around March or something. I low-key wish I did because it would help me scale a little faster. But you also want to make sure you're doing it the safe way. You want to make sure you have some assets. If you have nothing to sell, then um, yeah, it's going to be a little tight. Because if it doesn't work, then you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Because you are basically betting on yourself that you're using the bank's money. And you're going to be able to pay it back. If you can't pay it back, I would recommend whatever you bought, sell it off. Take a loss if you are taking a loss. You might get lucky, you might make money or break even, depends on what you buy. But take a loss on it because you don't want to be stuck paying that 20, 30, 40% APR because it's not worth it at that point. You're just working for the bank. You want to use this type of stuff to your advantage and get that cash back. In my opinion, credit cards are amazing. Why not use it when you can absolutely get cash back, bonuses for free? If you're going to spend the money on a debit card either way, then why not use a credit card? Let's say your business expenses per month are ten thousand dollars i'm just going to give an example for easy math yours might be lower or higher but let's say it's two percent cash back on every purchase that's two hundred dollars per month you're just leaving on the table for no one because you could be getting that cash back you're spending the money either way so why not use a credit card because that adds up dude 12 uh 12 times 200 dollars that's 2400 dollars a year your business could have made more or you got $2,400 to buy something that you might want. You know, you might not need that tool, but you want it because it'll make your life easier. That's $2,400 you can put towards it. So in my opinion, I'm always gonna go with a credit card because you are betting on yourself, but if you're spending that money either way, there's no risk. Now, don't be that cool kid that buys a new truck and then just goes and slaps $10,000 worth of rims and tires on it because those rims are not gonna make you money. If your business can't afford it, you can afford it. Go ahead, buy it. Look clean. I know it looks amazing. I wish I had that type of stuff, but I don't. But it's fine. I can't afford it right now. One day I will. But for now, I'm going to continue buying stuff that makes me money. So please, if you're going this route, don't buy stuff that you can just turn around and sell or that won't make you money because you're just digging yourself a hole. And it's going to be hard to get out of this hole whenever you're in it because once they start charging you interest, it's hard to get out. So you wanna get out before the interest and that's how you're gonna be on top of the banks. For those of you that are wondering which credit cards I gone with, I'm gonna put the links in the description. You can go with them, but I'd highly recommend you do your own research. There might be a better fit for you out there. Find what works and what's ideal for you. For me, I was looking for high cash back. So that was ideal for me and 0% APR obviously. So this is exactly how you can make this work. Apply for the Amex one, They'll probably approve you for the highest amount. The Chase one approved me only for 6,000. The Amex approved me for 20,000. So you can choose whichever one you want. But for me, what I did is I went and I bought the dump trailer on a credit card, got the cash back. I also did put some money down because I used the Chase one, which only gave me a $6,000 limit. So I paid half in cash, half on a credit card, and I got the $750 cash back. Just put it straight towards that credit card to pay that loan off because you want to pay it off as soon as you can. You don't want to hold it off till the last two months and then trying to figure a way to pay for it. You want to pay for it as soon as you're making money, start tackling money at that credit card. If you are overthinking this for a trailer that is, let's say, around $10,000 or less, stop overthinking because it is easy to make $10,000 in one year or to pay something off. When it gets hard now is when you start buying stuff that's like $30,000. Like I got the stump grinder and mini skid attachments ran, ran me, I don't know, $33,000. Now that's a bit tough. 
But at the same time, what I did is I needed the stump grinder for my own house. I saved like $3,000 on stumps, and then I also am using it on multiple jobs to make money. Now, if that credit card is coming up, and let's say I'm 11 months in, and I still owe a bunch of money on it, and I can't pay it off, I'm not going to be paying that interest. What I'm going to do, that machine's going up for sale. I might take a hit on the machine, which I will, of course, because it will be used. It's not going to be new. But the difference I saved and made money on will outweigh that loss on the machine. So for me, it's worth the risk. I'm basically betting on myself, but I know I can get out of this because I've done a lot of research. I know what this machine is worth for used with how much hours. So I'm not putting hours on that machine if it doesn't make sense. I am not telling any of you guys to do this. This is 100% your decision. I am not a financial advisor. I am just a guy on the internet that is hustling and that is sharing what works for me. I know a lot of you guys are hungry to get into this business and don't have the cash up front, but this is a way you can do it and basically get a year free pass with someone giving you money. No one gave me money. I didn't think about the bank's idea when I was getting started, but I had cash saved up for my previous job. I sold my cars and I bought trucks and trailers. And after I ran out of money, I just started financing stuff. But I'm financing it because I know I can get rid of it. If it doesn't work, I can sell it and not take a hit. Like, if I will, it will be very minimal. Because these trailers, man, they hold their value. They are worth money. People are looking for these trailers. Yes, you are going to lose money on taxes and registration and stuff like that. But for the most part, they're holding their value pretty well. What pushed me to get a new dump trailer is I was looking on Facebook Marketplace. People were selling the same trailer as the dealer was selling for $10,500, $11,000, $10,000, $12,000, Some person was trying to sell it for $15,000 when the dealer was selling it new for ten, dollars And they were trying to get fifteen dollars for a used one. It just made no sense. So I went the new route. Equipment holds their value well. Now, if you start buying stuff that doesn't, that's up to you. I would be very careful with that because that is sketchy. If your business carries a bunch of debt or you have a bunch of personal debt, I wouldn't really recommend you hop on this trend and start using the credit cards like that because it is going to be that much harder to pay off this debt just like how the debt you have right now. You know it's hard, so don't climb into a bigger hole. Pay that off first and then start doing this type of stuff because it is going to be hard. Try to get overtime at your job or whatever you're doing, whatever field you're in, hustle harder. Uh, I don't know how hard you're hustling. Maybe you're already working 120 hours a week. I don't know. But hustle and pay off that debt before you get into more debt because once you're in the debt, guys, it's hard to get out. The money you're borrowing for that trailer or whatever equipment you're buying, let's just say trailer, you're supposed to use the profit to pay off that trailer so you don't wait a year and then that interest kicks in and you're stuck paying a high interest. But if you don't have a bunch of business debt or personal debt, this is what you want to do. If you don't have the cash, obviously, don't go to a place, buy here, pay here, and they don't care about your credit score and all that type of stuff. Try to apply for a credit card because if you can get away with not paying anyone money, like that's more money in your pocket. Those buy here, pay here places have ridiculous interest rates. I've never gone, but I've watched videos, man. They are ridiculous. And some of you already probably have that type of interest rate. Um, so see, maybe they accept the credit card to pay it off. Apply for a credit card. If they do, let's say you owe 5000 on that trailer, you get approved for 6000 pay off that debt on the trailer and lower that interest rate to zero for 12 months. So pay off that interest rate. This is what you want to do. Take advantage of the system if you can because this is what's going to help you scale faster and get the equipment so you can work more efficiently. Now, obviously, this will only work if your dealer accepts credit cards. I know Top Shelf Trailers in Yulee, Florida accepts them. That's who I've been using for my dump trailers. That's who I will continue to use for my dump trailers. But they do charge a 3% fee on a credit card just like any business. Even I myself charge a 3% fee whenever a customer pays with a credit card because why do I have to eat that cost? It's not my fault that the customer can't afford to pay cash or wants to use the credit card to get points. So you don't want to use a credit card whenever you're getting hit with that 3% unless you can't afford it. 3% is still better than 15, 20, 30, whatever. So 3% is not a big deal. I mean, I had my land surveyed. I use a credit card and I had to pay $30 extra. So instead of a thousand bucks, it was a thousand thirty. But I made that decision to use a credit card. So you do you. Now, if you can afford a cash, I would suggest putting as much cash as you can whenever you're buying a trailer. And that way you're not paying as much as a 3% of that 3% fee that you're going to finance. Like when I bought my stump grinder, uh, Harco already includes that credit card fee into their uh, prices. I'm sure they're, they're such a big company. They already know or assume that most people will use a credit card. So you're not going to get a better deal when you're paying with a credit card or cash. So I didn't have to pay uh, any extra 
like uh, I didn't have to pay that 3% fee whenever I paid uh, for my stump grinder or attachments with a credit card. So keep that in mind. Cash is still king, but not with these commercial companies that are extremely big and they're worldwide. But small places, small businesses, you will still get a better discount with cash. That's why I would recommend using as much cash down as you can instead of financing everything. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next ones. Peace.